Hello guys, this is Mauro from PrimoFotech.com and on this video we're gonna look at the new features and changes included on Windows 10 build 17, 713. This is a new test preview for Windows 10 version 1809 expected to release later this year. Now let's have a closer look at the most worthy improvements in this release. With Bill 17713, Microsoft Edge now offers a new option to control autoplay permissions on a per website basis. So now you can just click the uh, lock button and then you will see a new section called website permissions and then just click in the uh, media autoplay settings will enable the feature and then simply refresh the page and you can supposedly change the uh, settings for a specific website. However, as you can see, the uh, menu isn't working well at this moment. If you want to change the settings globally, you can do so going to the uh, Microsoft Edge settings and on the advanced page, you can control how audio and video play automatically on websites. When reading a website using the Reading View feature, viewing PDF documents, or when reading a book, you can now use the built-in dictionary on Microsoft Edge to look up definitions for the specific keywords. To use this new feature, simply select a word, and you will see that dictionary popping up. You can click the microphone to listen the pronunciation. Build. And you can even click the uh, more button to get more details about that word but again as you can see it seems that the feature isn't fully baked into Microsoft Edge just yet if you want you can also control this feature on settings and on the uh, general page scroll down you can turn off the dictionary completely and you can also decide in which type of uh, experience you want to be able to look up word definitions. When viewing PDF documents, you will now see text descriptions for the icons to make them more easily understandable. In addition, the toolbar adds a new Add Notes button, as you can see right here, and the ability to pin the toolbar to the top of the document. Even further, starting with this new flight, Microsoft Edge delivers a number of fixes to improve the rendering performance of PDF documents. And that's pretty much all that's new with Microsoft Edge on Windows 10, build 17, 713. Now let's jump into the uh, Notepad application because on this flight, we're going to see a number of improvements. In this new version of Notepad, when open and define feature, you will notice that it's a new wraparound option for fun and replace. And the app now remembers previously enter and the state of the checkboxes and automatically populates them the next time you open the Find dialog. You can now select text and when opening the uh, Find dialog, you will see that text already populated in the Find field. In this new Redstone file update, Notepad is also getting an option to zoom in and zoom out. The option is available on the uh, View menu, so you can zoom in and zoom out you can also use control plus or control minus to change the zoom of the uh, text it also works if you're using control in the mouse wheel up and down and you can use control zero to return to the original settings in addition notepad now supports the ability to display line and column numbers when word wrap is enabled and you can also use the uh, control backspace to delete the previous word. And that's all that's new for Notepad on Windows 10 build 17, 713. In this update, the Windows Sync experience is also getting updated and it's starting with build 17, 713, the embedded handwriting experience it's now the default experience when entering text using the pen on modern applications. As you can see in the image, using the pen, you can just start writing and Windows 10 will open up the embedded handwriting experience so you can type 
and edit text to search and interact with the application. On Windows 10 build 17713, Windows Defender Application Guard introduces a new interface within the Windows Security application to enable and configure the feature without having to use a registry. The new settings are located more specifically in the app and browser control, but only on computers that meet the requirements. As you can see on my device, I'm not able to, to see these new settings, but I'm going to show you an image from Microsoft that shows the interface, how it looks like. If your system meets the minimal requirements, you will see a new isolated browsing section under app and browsing control. And here you can click on this option to install the application. Once it is installed, you have to restart your computer and then you will see these new, these new options and click in the uh, change application guard settings. will take you to a new page where you can control a number of settings for application guard on your computer. And that's what's new with Windows Defender application guard on Windows 10 build 17, 713. This release also introduces a number of other features, but they're aimed for organizations such as support for Windows Hello for authentication using remote desktop, web sign in and faster sign in, which is a new feature that allows shared devices to log in more quickly. I'll be leaving a link on the video description below to see even more details about these features. The performance of Windows 10 build 17, 713 is better than the previous builds, but it's still not recommended to install it on your primary computer. Also, Microsoft is now in the stages to finalize the Redstone 5 update. As such, we are going to start to see less features and improvements being introduced and more bugs getting fixed to get the update ready for the October release. And that's all that's new for Windows 10 build 17, 713. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.